Hey out there, God bless you, YouTube land in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. God bless America. I got a new prophecy from the throne room. We broke temperature. I had a prophecy and 30 days ago on YouTube called Prophecy <clears throat> on Extreme Drought and Famine in U.S. Land. Now I make a new prophecy today here called Prophecy on Judgment of Drought and Famine on U.S. Land. At 30 days ago, I prophesied what's happening here. I said we would break the 1936 Dust Bowl record, and we did in Pinckneyville, Illinois. Uh, it was the hottest July 2012 on record, and the whole uh, United States is uh, in a heat wave. In Pinckneyville, Illinois, we've been in a heat wave for the last uh, three months going on. We're still 12 inches short of rain. We're in a drought here. We're at the famines in the land. 100% of our corn crop is burned up. Our uh, uh, soybeans are about gone. God's going to have to do a miracle. There's famine in the land. And we got to pray for showers of blessings, for God's glory, because what's going to happen? Just not ping of the Illinois. So half of the United States of America, maybe three-fourths of the United States of America is a drought. And we're in the corn belt here in Pinkneville, Illinois, just not feeding our people here all over the world. They're going to suffer in China and Russia and India and all the Middle Eastern countries. It's, it's going to be here, a famine in the land. And right now, it's not so bad, but we see a forecast for the National Weather Service in the next three months. If we, in August, September, October, if we don't get more rain, it keeps hot as it is, uh, we're going to have some major problems. The ponds are drying up. The rivers are drying up. The barges can't get down to Mississippi, Ohio. We're going to have some major problems if we don't get rain in three months here. The uh, barges won't be able to get coal to the power plants. Then we won't be able to get electricity. It's going to be a lot of uh, consequences over this thing. And pray for rain. We need rain here. For the glory be to God. I have the Bible today to show what's going on here. That 2,700 years ago in Amos, this happened to Israel. It's happened to the United States of America. But what's happened to judgment is on Antichrist Obama. Because he's changing the times, the seasons, the laws. Antichrist Obama is, has the endorsement of same-sex marriages. Like a Sodom and Gomorrah in the United States of America. He is, uh, Obamacare is putting a curse upon this land, putting a judgment while the United States of America is having, uh, extreme drought in the land, uh, while we're having a famine in the land. So, I'm getting the word of God for God's glory here to tell you what I'm talking about here. We're in Amos chapter 4. And verses 6 through 13. And I also have given you cleanness of teeth in all your city. And want of bread in all your places. Yet have you not returned it to me, saith the Lord. He's telling the first time that they're disobeying God. With Antichrist Obama, a lot, majority of the United States people, they're not going by God's order, statutes, and commandments. And then judgment comes upon the land here. And also I have withholding that rain from you when there were yet three months to harvest. This goes for Pinkneyville, Illinois. June, July, August. These are the harvest months. We're 12 inches of rain short. Where our corn crop is burned up 100%. And our soybeans is probably burn up 60-70%. Well, there's an extreme drought in land, a famine in land. Because President Obama, who's the Antichrist Obama's, uh, t changing the times, seasons, the laws. He's endorsing same-sex marriages. The Obamacare is putting judgment on the land. I caused it to rain upon one city and caused it not to rain upon another city. One piece was rained upon and the piece whereupon it rained not wither. So two or three cities wandered unto one city to drink water, but they were not satisfied. Yet, have ye not returned it to me, saith the Lord. That's the second time that uh, people in Amos the time was disobedient God in Israel. And now United States of America with the judgment of Antichrist Obama on the land. It's happening here in 2012. 
I have smitten you with blessing and mildew. When your gardens and your vineyards and your fig trees and your olive trees increased, the palmer worm devoured them. Yet have you not returned it to me, saith the Lord. That's three times he's warned the people. Right there, Amos and Israel, and the God of Israel is uh, warning Antichrist Obama three times here in 2012 that there's a judgment on the land, the U.S. land. There's a drought on land because Mr. Obama's actions is disobedience to God of Israel. I have sent unto you pestilence after the matter of Egypt. Your young men have I slain with the sword, and I have taken away your horses, and I have made the stink of your camps to come up into your nostrils. Yet have you not returned it to me, saith the Lord. I have overthrown some of you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and yet you were as a far band, plucked out of the burning, yet have you not returned unto me, saith the Lord. Therefore thus will I do unto thee, O Israel, <clears throat> and because I will do this unto thee, prepare to meet thy God, O Israel. Get ready for your maker. Jesus returning soon. These are last days. It won't be long. Jesus will be like a thief of the night, riding the clouds, splitting Easter skies. There will be a voice of archangel, trump of God. The dead in Christ shall be rise first, and that's alive. Be caught up in the air. Be with the Lord forever and ever. For lo, he that formeth the mountains, and createth the wind, and declareth unto man, what is the his thought? that maketh the morning darkness and treadeth upon the high places of the earth, the Lord, the God of hosts, in his name. And may God add his blessing upon his holy word. And I'm going to tell you, we're going to have a black Christmas here in the United States of America because in the corn belt here, the corn's wiped out 100% in Illinois and other parts of the United States of America. The soybeans getting wiped out. If they don't have rain, probably another two, three weeks, they'll be wiped out. That... Christmas time. And it won't be long here. We're only talking about four or five months. You'll see a gallon of milk. It'll be five dollars a gallon. You see a dozen eggs will be three dollars uh, a dozen. You'll see a pound of hamburger. It could be four or five dollars uh, a pound because right now there's uh, not enough corn to feed the third world country. Right now we're in a survival mode. We're in a judgment mode. We're in Armageddon mode that we need our corn to feed the pigs and, and the milk cows and the beef and the, and the cattle and the uh, chickens. There's enough, enough corn going around right now. The farmers are suffering. Pray for the farmers. The farmers need a miracle. The United States of America needs a miracle. We're in a dry and thirsty land. This is worse than a 1936 Dutch Bowl famine. God have mercy on the United States of America. But Jesus is still in control. We still, he hears the cries of his children. We prayed the other day at church. We haven't had rain in 30 days. And we thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, in two rains. Jesus sent us Saturday morning and Sunday morning. Thank you, Jesus, for an inch and a quarter of rain. First rain, Pink of Illinois, got in 30 days. And the showers are blessing. It just smells beautiful after a, a fresh rain. The, the fresh fragrance is just beautiful. So this is the time to accept Jesus Christ, your personal Savior. You've been running from the Lord long enough. Time's running out. There ain't much time left. And you'll see this in the extreme drought and the famine. Turn your life over to the Lord before it's too late. There's not much time left. Say this prayer with me today. And God, let your presence, your anointing come down and put them under conviction, Holy Ghost. And I feel your presence. This is the time you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. Lord Jesus Christ, I am a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, I confess with my mouth, I believe my heart. Lord Jesus Christ, you can forgive me for my sin and save my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for saving my soul. Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for writing my name, Land Book of Life. Lord Jesus Christ, I love you, Lord, for your eternal life, forever and ever. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Said that prayer today. Give Jesus the best hand clap. Uh, right, George and Betty. Kelly's channel, YouTube, and thank you, YouTube, for putting this video on, and, and Lord Jesus, many uh, people today, I put the hand of the Lord upon you, touch you from the crown of your head, soles of the feet, Lord Jesus, fill them with the Holy Ghost and form from the crown of your head to soles of the feet, this is your greatest decision I made to accept you, Jesus, personal Savior today, right, George and Betty Kelly, 
our YouTube channel. Email us. Tell us the good news. Uh, the good news you said to Jesus Christ, your personal say, We love you today. Pray for at least the Brother Ministry, Pinkville, Illinois. We'll be praying for you. We thank Jesus for you. We thank you, Jesus, for saving people's souls today, Jesus. Uh, delivering people today, filling with the Holy Ghost and fire and healing. We love you in Jesus' holy name. Me and Betty love you and Alicia loves you. Have a good day. God bless you. God bless America and God bless the world for the glory of be to God in Jesus' name's sake.